Well, it's going to be a much quicker two-year-old rundown as obviously I wasn't in Ontario. So I'm taking the updates from everybody uh, at face value and, and there was very few concerns at all this week given in fact none that I can remember if somebody said, hey, got to eat this horse looked at or something happened with this horse. Yeah, there's some horses on lines and whatnot, but no concerns. Now, I don't know whether that was people not wanting to burden me or not, but as I'd said to both Jason and James um, uh, today when I spoke to them, are there any horses I need to go with this week? And uh, no, was a, was a resounding no. There's no new uh, cases. Now the same ones I'll still go with. I'm working on the sets right now for this week. Uh, I guess a great question to be from some people would be, will, be, will we be droning any of them, videoing them, any, any of them? Let's see. I'll look into that. I'll look into that as uh, I go down and have a couple of drinks with Curtis. We'll talk about that. Let's get to the two-year-olds right now. Um, start with AC Swan. I trained AC Swan in 252 the other day. I know Jason had said, ah, oh, we just hit them all in slow sets. I don't think they realize that she's just as good as anybody training right now. Now, I don't want to see her going 235. So yes, put her in a set where they're going to go around 250, 252, somewhere around there. But uh, there's no need to coddle this filly. She is big, strong. Both those fillies that Jim had picked out are massive. And they're big, big, big girls. So super excited to see uh, how they look. I had a number of people message me. I'll say, Anthony, there are some fairs in the middle of middle of the summer for the Illinois horses. You're right, DeCoin and those. I love to go to DeCoin. Uh, where was the one I went to last year? Uh, I think it was the Illinois, Illinois State Fair. It was beautiful there also. Really, really nice fair. I told Amy I'd like to take her and the kids there this summer. So hopefully we're able to and hopefully the Phillies are, are good enough to be there. But man, they seem like they're doing their work really, really well so far. So AC Swan, very happy with her. Activation won't go Wednesday. We did have, uh, he was originally, so we did have him operated on, and I think Jason said, Mike asked that maybe not Wednesday, but Saturday he could go. So we'll see about that. Affection has just been awesome uh, for quite a while now. It looks very good, continues to look good. Ali Baba has put together two or three really good trotting miles through the hobbles on both her and AC Swan and both responded very very well to that um, caught on my finger. um Antilles Hanover continues to train well very happy I like when the horses go and just do their work they don't be the best at it they don't be the worst at it. just do their work and do it to the best of their ability Antilles Hanover looks like he puts out a full effort every time he goes on the track so I'm really really happy with him uh, Arson was awesome the last time I saw him with Jason, and again, Jason said he's been good again. Blanton's Blue is probably a horse i got to continue to go with. This guy's a real slow learner. He has a lot to do with his testicles, I believe. Uh, I'm hesitant to take him out, but he is getting on my nerves a little bit. So you may see him become a gelding by the summertime, but we'll see. We'll see what happens with, um, with Blanton's Blue. He's fast. There's no two ways about that. Uh, Born to Dance has been much, much better since I went with him uh, that time about two weeks ago. Uh, very happy with him. That's the Dancing Yankee. Nobody's changed more than Affection and the other Dancing Yankee filly. We'll talk about her in a minute. Very impressed with that, uh, with those two horses. So maybe the Dancing Yankees just go through a phase of a little bit uh, more leaning to one side, the sour side, and then they come around because both Born to Dance and that filly have looked very good. Now, Born to Dance, we did help him out, uh, castrating him a little bit. It was an expedited lesson, but... Uh, he's been much better since we did do that. Chirahola has been good again. Made a break on Joey the other day. Jason said, she's a little trickier. You know, she's a big lanky filly. She's just going to take a little work. I'll go with her this week. Cowboy by the Sea has been great. I ended up, he was one of the first ones I took the flip-flops off him. Just because he was actually with his gait, he was hitting the ground a little bit harder than I'd like to see even with flip-flops on. So I thought maybe we'd stick to pull those off him for a little bit and see how he responded. I'll go with him again this week. Uh, did not know, learning her work, they said she's getting it, hasn't been trained faster than three minutes yet, a full mile, but she's coming. Uh, don't talk about Bruno, was great again the other day, I was told. Drebin, very good again the other day. Easy in the turns tied up a little bit last week, so she had uh, two, two, uh, Friday off, but she will go again on Tuesday. Now her AST is still going to be a little high, but not high enough that you can't do a little work on Tuesday. Electric line, we found a little sesamoiditis on that guy, some roughness on his sesamoid, so we just blistered them behind. He's not gonna train for another week or two, but I'm glad we found out what it was, and it's very, very treatable and manageable. Flash fly, James, James loves this horse, and I'm glad. I'm glad James loves his filly. He loves going when they're good, because she is a likable horse, and I'm glad 
Uh, I like to go in with her, but I'm glad that James gets along well with her, so I probably won't go with her for a while now. Um, he said he loves the Philly. George of the Jungle was great by all accounts the other day. Goldbug Hanover hobbles off. I actually put her in with the Pacers this week with Brody. I just thought she was awesome the other day when I saw her go, and I'd like to see her come forward. This is a Philly. The three green shoes, all very ignorant to break, all nasty, mean Phillies. Put the hobbles on them. Both, All three of them had line poles and Murphy blinds on the inside. Just mean. And then all of them just like that. That wasn't very smart. Just like that, changed. And uh, just no hobbles, and all they do is trot now. Impressive. Impressive to see the transformation. So Goldbug Hanover uh, in tougher this week, and I think uh, it'll be fun to watch this Philly go this week. Great bet and continues to improve. Yes, he's a little bit lazy. Somebody said, well, can we castrate him? Yeah, I suppose we could. Maybe we will. Uh, but I'm not disappointed with him just yet. I mean, it's very early. It's middle, middle of February. Uh, green tea has been great. Continues to look great. Gypsy Hill, top marks in Ohio. This is a very, very, very nice colt. Hallie in the clouds, very nice filly. We did change and put her in the Breeders' Crown. For those of you that are wondering, you know, we made a little bit of a stink about how the Breeders' Crown was kind of... Uh, excluding Ontario and in in, because of the way they had formatted it this year and there was a little bending a little flexibility Ontario moved the date back a day so I was very happy to see that Hallie in the clouds is now indeed entered in the Breeders Crown um, I'm fancy like very very happy with uh, very happy with I'm fancy like this Philly the transformation of her has been incredible nothing short of incredible just super, super happy with I'm Fancy Like uh, throughout the month of February. Man, she's been so, so good the last month or more. Insider trading looks great also. Danny went with her the other day. I believe she said she was great. International Spy continues to improve a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. He's getting better. Irresistible Sun, Jason said, was good the other day. Jayport Beach Boy was good. They said, hey, he might need castrated at some point. Just a little lackadaisical, not really paying attention to his work all the time. Yes, let's, let's give him... Give him a cut, cut him some slack. You know, give, him, give him a break for a little bit. I'm not super worried about Jayport Beach Boy just yet. Levesque in action continues to put out good. Lonely Lake Wood has been awesome, continues to be awesome. Been our number one prospect, I believe, or, or right up there uh, for the last little while. That entrapment, I just spoke to the surgeon, uh, texted her about an hour ago. She said that she would come by at some point in the next two weeks and fix that entrapment. Uh, they could fix it in the burn, uh, which is happy. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, where are we at here? Lover's Play has been good. The odd break here and there, but Lover's Play has been good. I put Scott back on Lover's Play as Jason's gone away this week. So I'm interested to see how she responds uh, to getting Scott back on her. Because Scott got along well with her and a couple other horses also. Mick Paisley, again, continues to do her work well. No complaints with Mick Paisley yet. Uh, Melanie's Michaela is in the sale on Tuesday, and that will be the last. This will be the last time we speak of Melanie's Michaela at the stable.ca and whoever gets her, I wish them all the luck in the world with her. Uh, Mel Gibbs Swan, again, one of our top uh, performers and, and that says a lot. I don't speak enough about this horse because I don't go with him. Joey loves him and we, Joey goes with him all the time. Just a, a very, very talented colt and I'm looking forward to the day that I get to go with him but it's not right now. Uh, memory and Imagination continues to improve, very happy with him. Militant has looked awesome his last few training trips. Very impressed with him. And Mound Sprawl now starting to find his best stride. Trained great the last two times I went with him. Excited to see how he's going to be this year, or uh, this week. Myself and this bar again, like Melanie's Michaela, will be leaving the stable. This will be it. The last speaking of myself and this bar is today, right here, right now. No chance in Hill. Jason said hanging on the left line the other day. I said, Jason, it's not his, I don't think it's too early to be his knees. Probably just when he made a couple of breaks, he might have touched his foot, maybe a little bruise in his foot. We'll have a look at him this week, but make a few equipment adjustments. I'm not worried at all about uh, no chance in Hill. Oh, snap, you continues to impress everyone that goes there. Very nice filly. Paycheck Princess. He said, Brody won't paycheck Princess, and he got along well with her. She stayed at it and did her work well the other day. Fine. He can continue to go with her. We'll see how she this plays out over the next month. With the big paycheck, no reason to drop the hammer on her yet. Uh, Pickpocket continues to be good. Prince Charmer, I told everybody, it's a nice cold. He's tenacious. And he was very, very good his last two or three training trips. And I suspect he'll be good again on Tuesday. Pull the shoes. Apparently, the shoeing change we made on her, we pulled the shoes, put different ones on her. Um, and Joey went with her the other day and said, Anthony, she was very, very good the other day. So very happy with her. Punch the clock's going to make 
her first training trip debut this week on Tuesday. I'm going to go with her again. Wasn't The only reason wasn't the entrapment. I spoke to the surgeon. I wanted to say, hey, is she good to go? She said, well, just get Angelica to check her incision marks on Monday to make sure she's okay, which we'll do. But I suspect she'll get the green light to train on Tuesday. So that's exciting, exciting news for us. Uh, Purple People Eater was good again uh, the other day. Very happy with her. Ready for landing again. Top marks this guy. Keep your eye on this horse. This is one of the horses I'm watching very, very closely all year long. I'm happy that he's doing well for Daryl. Daryl's getting along very, very good with this horse. Sitting him in, making him sit, behave, right on a helmet. When you move him, he comes forward in a big way. All the things I want to see from a horse. Very happy with what I've seen from Ready for Landing. Really don't care. Continues to be very, very impressive. Joey's going to get a drive on all, uh, uh, Really Don't Care this week. She's pretty push button, just a beautiful filly to go with. Um, Rito's Lady, I'm going to go a slower mile. James said his colt, Blarney, was acting up the other day. So Bar Blarney and Rito. Blarney and Rito can go, uh, can go together this week. Uh, Royal Emeralds didn't go the other day. Still a little sore when she jumped on her foot. I'm going to go with her this week in a set. Uh, Seasons of Love, they said, was very good the other day. This filly's come in a huge way, come forward in a massive, massive way. Almost doesn't need the hobbles now. We may actually try her without them. Maybe not when the camera's on, but we'll try her without them at some point in the near future. Sun, uh, don't jump over anybody yet. Sedona Hill has been good, continues to be good. Sunset Acres Girl, our Michigan hopeful, looks very, very good training down. Uh, Southwind Digit, jumped over Digit. Southwind Digit has been good. Uh, Daryl will go with her again this week. I just want her finishing up in behind, on a helmet and wanting to attack. I just think that we asked for a lot for her from her from the start. Cover her up, and I want her finishing up on a helmet, and that's what we're going to do again this week. Um, Sweeney, they said, was very good training the other day. Third and six is getting better. He was good the other day also. Time is on my side, continues to do his work well. I'm going to go with him on Tuesday. Venice Blue Chip has been very, very, very good. Probably our top pacing filly, I think, right now, anyway. I'm trying to think of who our other ones are. We get some nice pacing fillies, but I think top of the heap right now might be Venice Blue Chip. Uh, Victory Blue Chip did his work well the other day, continues to work well. I like this horse a lot. This is a big, strong colt. Uh, always lingering on that, should we geld him, should we not? Still looks at the gates, still maybe not always focused, but he is a baby. you got to give him some slack. Uh, we're not going to rush to castrating this guy right away. He is maybe written in pencil, but not in pen. We'll leave him alone for now. Um, where are we at here? I jumped over two horses. I jumped over the Carol Blue Chip, who's been amazing. This horse ended up changing him and putting him in the Breeders' Crown also. I think this horse has got a ton of ability. He's a half-brother, might be a three-quarter brother, definitely a half-brother to a world champion in Spider Blue Chip and just can fly. Very, very nice colt. Very happy with him. Uh, watch your mouth. Has been doing good things, but makes the odd break. I'm not worried about it. I know it's the flip-flops. When we get them up, get them off, and they'll come forward. But there's no rush. There is no rush. And I know it's frustrating when Danny or Mario come off the track and say, oh, I made a break. But, geez, you know, can you go without the flip-flops? Oh, 100% again. We're just not taking them off again. Um, widespread Panic has been great. This is a horse. I, every time he's on the track, I just kind of I keep trying to keep an eye on him. He just he looks impressive. He looks like he has something going on. And... I just, I'm interested. I'm intrigued to watch this guy train down. I keep a very close eye on him. And then Winter Bells has just been uh, lights out great from day one. Very, very impressive filly and continues to be impressive in Ontario. So those are your two-year-olds. I'm going to run through the three and four-year-olds really quick, get back down to the pool. I'll be back in just a minute.